Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jacques Slade here. Back with another unboxing, and today, as you can see, I've got something pretty special from the folks over at Adidas. Uh, if you follow all of the sports like I do, then you know that the Ryder Cup was this weekend and USA won. Congratulations to the USA team. But as part of that, Adidas hooked up some of their athletes with a very special Stan Smith, which you can see right here in this box. I was lucky enough that they actually sent me the custom packaging for the shoe. So I want to just do a quick unboxing here for you guys, get it over nice and quick, and give you a look at the shoe because I think it's really dope. Now for uh, fans of the Ryder Cup, you will know that it was at Lake Michigan, which happens in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is known for their cheese, which happens to come from cows get it the cows the cheese wisconsin that's where this whole packaging comes together very nicely done adidas i appreciate what you're doing you see here has the adidas there with the pink there has uh, adidas there has stan smith forever and then it has hold on let's bring this to the top, top camera end plastic waste adidas and fresh sustainable and truly timeless very nicely done on the packaging it's supposed to look like the milk bottles from when we were in elementary or well in, in school where you get the milk bottle and you open it up and you pour it out it even has a best as best of date but it says best opened 9 20 2021 i'm obviously a little behind but that's not what we're here to talk about guys we're here to talk about what's inside the shoe so let's actually take a look inside here and open this up very honestly i just i just really love this packaging again it's all about the story for me we all know about the sneakers and we love these sneakers but it's the story that really captures our imagination i will say so the there oh there we go and look inside looks like we have a couple things inside here so we have some kicks we have uh, an extra set of laces that actually look like cows. Very nice. Uh, and then there's some paperwork and some stickers. It looks like uh, uh, that's very cool. Right there, Dairyland Golf Club. That's a cool sticker. Obviously, uh, again, Ryder Cup was in Wisconsin in the Savage 2021. I love that. Uh, it has a three on the back of the cow. Obviously for like a par three, I'm assuming. That's why they have the three there on the back of the cow. Very cool, and they have them in different colors. So you have the pink, you have the red, and you have the yellow. Oh man, they should do colorways for these. I wonder if Adidas is actually gonna do different colorways for these, because I really like these stickers. These are cool. The Adidas Dairyland Golf Club. They should create a sub-brand called the Adidas Dairyland Golf Club. That would be super cool. And that's it. But the packaging is super dope. Very cool packaging, Adidas. I love this. I love this. Uh, probably let me read the letter. Uh, America's Dairyland, Wisconsin, of course, is about to play host, blah, 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 blah. We're celebrating this year's unique setting with a limited edition pair of our Stan Smith golf shoe. They're available right now on adidas.com and Adidas app and select retail partners. Uh, although, although you may be a moosed with the spotted print pink outsole and endorsement from cows themselves on the tongue, something you may not notice is that the entire upper of the shoe is made with recycled materials, all part of our mission as a brand to help end plastic waste. There's a lot more going on here, uh, but let's hop into the shoes because that's really what you came here for. Again, the laces, very nice touch. Then the bag and plastic waste. I love that Adidas is approaching the sustainable sort of angle by like doing it, especially with their special edition stuff because that gets the news out there more. The regular stuff is great and it definitely needs to happen on there as well. But when they do the special edition stuff, I feel like that news spreads a little wider. So it's dope that they're spreading the word a little wider. So let's take the shoes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's get this. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Let's get this. Take a look at these. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in the back. Oh, you have the green on the bag. Again, I love this colorway, man. They should definitely do a golf line that kind of pulls onto this, like the Dairyland Golf Club. I love that. Anyway, so this is the Stan. Smith uh, or the golf version of the Stan Smith and fun fact the Stan Smith hasn't always been called the Stan Smith Origin originally it was the Robert Halle he was a tennis player uh, and from like 65 to sometime in the 70s it was called the Adidas Robert Halle Haley or Halle I don't know how to say it exactly uh, but then uh, he retired from tennis 
And so they stopped calling it that and it was just like, I don't know what the name was between that and when it turned into Stan Smith, but it didn't turn into the Stan Smith shoe, I believe until 78, 75 or 78. Quick tangent, FYI information. So as you can tell, these are going all in on the dairy concept. So you have the cow print here on the midsole. As they mentioned, this upper is made out of recycled plastic. The upper is made out of recycled plastic. Uh, yeah, something, uh, the, uh, the entire upper is made in part, oh, in part with recycled materials. So it doesn't say it specifically, it doesn't say specifically what it is, but part of, in part of the upper is made with recycled material. It feels a little bit like leather. So there's, it must be some sort of like synthetic leather that they're using these recycled materials to be a part of it as well. Details wise, they go all in on the move concept. Uh, Adidas Sam Smith Golf is just the title, but you see here it's, <laughs> it says endorsed by cows. Then it says Moo there instead of Stan Smith. Very, very nice touch. And that's on both of them. Then uh, insole wise, they go in on the insoles. See it has like the Dairyland logo there with the cows. And then you have the cow print on the insole as well. Just really well, very well done. And then obviously, you have the nubs on the bottom. If you play golf, you will recognize these nubs right away. This is like the integrated traction, as they call it, to give you grip when you're swinging through. These are fairly flexible. It's not like they have a plate or anything like that. It's a conversion of an old school shoe. But this obviously represents the udders of the cow where you get, where you get the milk, which is just so funny to me. I don't know why that's so funny. But that represents the udders of the cow. You have them there on the bottom of the outsole. Uh, so yeah, no, uh, nothing, not a super complicated unboxing, nothing super crazy about it. Um, this will be one of my first, I think, Stan Smith golf shoes. I have a bunch of Stan Smith, just like regular shoes, but I don't think I have a golf version. So with this look, I'm definitely gonna wear these on the course just because it just sets a precedent of just being fun and having fun and being silly. And I think that is what golf should be about. It shouldn't be so serious and stodgy. It should be fun out there with your friends clowning making jokes and trying to bomb a driver for like 250 to 300 yards that that's just that's just fun so anyway yeah these are available right now on adidas.com at certain certain retail partners and uh again shout out to the usa team for winning the Ryder cup that was awesome they crushed europe this year uh big shout out to like bryson and dustin and, and brooks and all those guys they just really did a really great job this year and uh yeah shout out to adidas for putting together a golf inspired stan smith a AKA the Dairyland Stan Smith. I think they should definitely do a Dairyland golf collection and just make it like super street weird out. Anyway, tangent again. Anyway, as always guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the folks at Adidas for sending these over. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe and all of that good stuff. And uh, if you have any questions or anything down there, let me know down in the comments below. All right guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Oh, quick, quick fun fact uh, after the video's over. Uh, they didn't look at names like Johnson and Garcia who actually play for them, but they looked at names like Arshire, Guernsey, and Holstein. And I'm gonna imagine those are the names of cows. Cause I imagine there's a specific cow that has these kind of dots or marks on it. Maybe that's what that means. Just some of the famous breeds that have been awarded the sought after title of Wisconsin Cow of the Year, as these cows are the true soul of America's dairy land. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, you learn something new every day. Thank you, Adidas Golf. I'm out of here.